Hey, I'm Jordan Lark, um, owner of Evolutionary Health, a uh, global nutrition coaching service um, with clients over 37 different countries. Um, and I'm here to talk about nutrition for the entrepreneur. Now, welcome to yet another exciting episode of the Online Prosperity Show. And today we've got the nutritionist himself, Jordan. Jordan, how are you doing today? Good, mate. How are you? Great stuff. As you would know with this show, we are trying to get every other online business to be profitable and enjoyable. And my message is to help digital marketers to actually start scale and grow a business that would transcend them and they can actually enjoy working in it. And that's the reason why we have experts in their industry like Jordan that come in and sit down with us every now and again so that they can talk to us about how we can actually have a happier existence. Jordan, thank you so much for your time today. My pleasure. Thanks for having me on. All right. It's like finances. Nutrition is one of the least known things, you know, that actually affect us as human beings. In your own words, how would you basically define what nutrition actually is? It's just a diet. Um, it's, it's about eating well. Um, you know, everything that, that goes in your body, you know, uh, has a role to play um, from, from an energy perspective and, and everything else. So, um, you know, you eat well, you feel well, you move well, you think well, it all is just a, a cascading flow on effect from there. Right. As we grow up, we're always told that, you know, we should have plus or minus three meals a day and, um, you know, they should all constitute all the food components. Is that myth or fact that we should yeah. actually just eat three large meals a day, breakfast, lunch, and dinner? To be honest, it's, it's, it's largely a myth. Um, you know, I haven't had breakfast. I know that I think better on an empty stomach. Uh, and I knew I was, I was having this call with you today, so I haven't eaten breakfast. I know I'm a little bit, um, you know, my mind's a little bit, works a little bit better um, for it. So, you know, it's largely a myth. At the end of the day, and, and everything will always come back to context, understanding what the context is in terms of what you, your objective is, et cetera, et cetera. And then making it from that context about, you know, what the right game plan is for you. You know, for some people, um, three meals a day uh, is appropriate. For other people, it may be you know, four, five, six meals a day. It really is relative to the individual, you know, and, and, and for me personally, I'd rather eat two meals a day. I'd rather eat two large meals than rather have, you know, spaced out smaller meals throughout the day. So it, it, it's really dependent on the person and, and, and what their goals are and, and their life and everything else that, that, that's inside that. Great stuff. All right. So for entrepreneurs, we are hustling maybe 24-7 uh, mm. throughout the whole day. What do you recommend um, you know, to be maybe a daily diet for somebody who is working extra hard and using their brain all the time. Yeah, at the end of the day, you, you need you need to have some healthy proteins and, and however you get those proteins, whether it's, you know, good quality meats, whether it's things like, you know, getting it from um, legumes and lentils and beans and, and, and whatnot, if you're, if you're a vegetarian, it's about having uh, you know, a, a good array of vegetables and, and fruits. It's about, um, you know, consuming water and making sure you're well hydrated. Uh, it's about having healthy fats, you, you know, your, your avocados, your, 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 your olive oils, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and then, you know, that should be make up the majority of your meal and then everything else on top of that. As an entrepreneur, um, caffeine's always a good one and, and, and you know, something I, I consume quite a lot of. Um, but, you know, it, it's, all, it's all relative again. Great stuff. Yeah, we do operate on caffeine fumes around here <laughs> for everything else to work, um, you know, in unison. Now, I read somewhere that meat is actually bad for good health. What's your take on that? You know, um, the, uh, my take on it is, is, is that's not necessarily true or correct. Um, you know, a lot of these studies that will come out saying, you know, meat's bad, it can cause cancer, et cetera, et cetera. Um, you know, th there's often a lot of errors or, or issues around those type of studies a lot of the time you know they're, they're taking in things like um, processed meats and things like you know hot dogs etc etc as opposed to you know someone that's having you know good quality proteins you know salmon or, or, or even just you know good quality steak or whatnot you know they're two vastly different types of proteins or, or meats i should say you know a hot dog type meat that's, that's full of you know, whatever it may be that, that, that constitutes that and, and you know, a, a piece of salmon or a piece of, um, you know, steak or, or whatever it might be. They're, they're two vastly different things. So, you know, that's often where, 
um, those sort of studies can lead people down the wrong garden path in terms of, you know, uh, putting everything in that one basket. And the truth of the matter is, um, you know, a, a healthy diet can, and to a large degree for a lot of people, will be rather beneficial. Understandable. And if you're a viewer watching this, obviously you do understand that our mission is to make sure that your business is profitable and you actually enjoy working in that business. And if you're feeling well, if you're, um, you know, your health is at optimum, you know, uh, points, you will do well within your business. Now, some of you that are watching might be thinking, okay, I don't drink milk because of my lactose intolerance. How else can other people get, you know, some other nutrition uh, like calcium that is well needed first in their brain and in their bones to actually function well, um, you know, as a person? Do you know yeah. where else people can get, you know, calcium that is not coming in from milk? You know, um, you know, things like, you know, leafy greens and, and, and different things in, in vegetables and vegetables and, and bony fish, et cetera, et cetera, all, um, you know, contain calcium as well. Um, you know, it's one of those things, you know, at the end of the day, if you're concerned about that, you know, you can get those sort of blood markers checked and, and whatnot, and you can supplement on, on those things. You know, I'm, I'm largely someone that doesn't sort of... Um, um, sort of dabble in the sort of supplements and, and then needing or, or stressing about them too much. But, you know, there are a lot of things. If you're not a, a, a dairy drinker, you know, I'm not a really a, a, a dairy consumer myself. You know, I'm generally a, a black coffee kind of person and that's really all I would get from from dairy perspective. You know, there's lots of other ways you can get your dairy in if, if you've got a lactose issue. But even with that, you know, there's lactose-free milk and there's, you know, different types of things, you know, cheeses and, and whatnot that can also um, uh, fill that void. Understandable. Is water really important there, Jordan, in your daily, um, you know, dietary requirements? You know, at the end of the day, you, 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 you have to eat proteins and fats. You need those two things to survive. Um, your carbohydrates fill in the rest. Um, you know, you want to have your fruits and vegetables. You, you do want to have uh, a good array of color and, and whatnot in your, on your plate. You do want to have some good quality um, fats like I talked about. Um, uh, you need to hydrate well. Um, but outside of that, you know, you, you probably make that up to about 80% of your, your, you know, your, your dietary intake. And your 20% can be uh, everything else that fills the void. Um, you know, and, and, you know, one thing that I, I find in every little person, every person's different, but, you know, making sure you exercise, you know, we're talking about nutrition from one perspective, but just getting up and moving is hugely important. I find that, you know, my brain works better, you know, my creativity, you know, all that kind of stuff works so much better. Even if I just go out for a, for a walk or, you know, it doesn't have to be a lot, but clears and helps you sort of that filing system go away in your, in your head and, and, and reshuffle things around and your creativity, all that kind of stuff comes from, you know, even exercising. And it can be something as simple as going for a 30 minute, you know, walk around the block or whatnot. Okay. Well, as entrepreneurs, I mean, we're really tied to our desks and we're really hoping that <laughs> the next 10 minutes is when you're going to make your biggest break. But um, you did mention something about good and bad fat. Could you just uh, touch a little bit about that? What is good fat and what is bad fat? You know, your good fats are typically things like your, your olive oils, your, your avocado oils, um, you know, coming from your, your healthy sources of, of protein like salmon and, and things like that. And then you, you have your bad fats typically are going to be, you know, things like canola oils, probably not the, up there as being great. Uh, and, and at the end of the day, it always comes back to the quantity. You know, it, it always will always boil down to, you know, you can get away with certain things of bad food no matter who you are, it's more about, you know, how much of those things. And that's why I always sort of go back to, you know, if, you, if you're filling your plate up 80% of the time with your, your whole foods, your vegetables, your fruits, your, your quality proteins, the rest of it really doesn't, we don't need to stress too much about the rest, if that makes sense. Understandable. Well, um, I keep referring back to entrepreneurs and thank you so much, uh, Jordan, for, you know, you dropping in a lot of value for us today. Um, a lot of entrepreneurs are subjected. You did mention caffeine a little bit earlier on and also, um, you know, supplements, just a quick shake here and there, a quick protein shake here and there or a meal replacement of some sort so that they can get it over and done with, um, get their nutrition and still continue with their work. Would you advise um, anything about that? Or oh, is it okay to replace actual food with food supplements, you know, um, you know, in your daily intake of uh, diet? 
Yeah, absolutely. Like it's, it, it, there definitely is a place for those things. Um, you know, if you're, you're busy in the morning or whatnot, grabbing a meal replacement shake or, or whatnot can be, you know, a really simple and easy thing. At the end of the day, um, you know, time is always of the essence. So those things can definitely fill the void. Um, you know, and, and I would probably fit those into that sort of 20% sort of mark, you know, if we're, we're getting 80% of our, our dietary intake from, from everything else, you know, those kind of things can all fit into that, you know, where you are time poor or you are just rushing out the door or, you know, you can't get away from the desk and you've got that sitting in the, the bottom of the drawer as an option. You know, those are really good options to, to, to go with. Okay, great. Well, this, this has been fantastic. And obviously, um, you know, we've probably left people wet and raised their appetites to want to eat more and find out more about how they can, um, you know, you know, get their nutrition. How can people get a hold of you there, Jordan? Um, the easiest way is through Facebook. Um, it's, it's where I spend majority of my time. Uh, outside of that, I have a website, it's jordanlark.com.au. Um, you know, those are the two easiest places to, to reach me and find me and, and we can go from there. Understandable. Is there any last advice that you can give people regarding to their nutrition and, you know, just having a healthier existence? Yeah. At the end of the day, and, and whenever I do an interview like this, people really want absolutes. They want just the black and white of, you know, we need to do this, 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 and this, and we'll get that at the end. And, and it never works like that. There's too many individual variables and, and, and whatnot. At the end of the day, it just takes consistency. It takes effort. Um, and it just takes, you know, um, not overcomplicating things, keeping, keeping things simple. And, 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 and when we talk about nutrition from that perspective, a lot of the tangibles from an entrepreneur life about being consistent, about putting in the effort, all those kind of things still can sort of translate over into the nutrition world. And in those kind of things, you know, stop looking for the bright, shiny, you know, next best thing that's going to sort of solve those problems and just focus on doing that consistent thing. Um, you know, that's what really will pay those long game sort of results at the end. Understandable. Well, you really did play into what our message is with this uh, whole business that nothing happens overnight. It's your health. It takes 21 years to actually be 21. And it is, you know, your body is going to be the vehicle that will take you through, um, you know, the rest of your life. So you might as well look after it by eating well, um, you, you know, feeding it with the best kind of foods, both in your stomach and also in your brain, like we've just done on this video here. I can't thank you enough, Jordan, for taking your time out today. A pleasure, mate. Thanks for having me on. Thank you so much. You've done this before, haven't you? Uh, no, not really. <laughs> <laughs> great stuff. Great stuff. Okay, cool. I hope I wasn't too...